Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris from New York, Westchester County. Um, today's October 2nd, 2018. Welcome to October, guys. Fall. Anyway, a couple things I want to bring up with you today. Uh, I, you know, this is one thing. You know what? No, no, no. You know what I'm going to do? I'm, I want to do just a month review. All right, just within like the last four weeks of what's happened to, um, you know, my channel and other channels that are on there. Very quickly, you know, somebody picked up my channel, Science, Dan, I don't know what the hell his name is. You know who I'm talking about. Uh, he gave me, uh, he did a video on me about, you know, how I believe that, you know, the space shuttle's helium. <laughs> I mean, you know, when NASA has... Uh, the, the largest purchaser of helium, you know, one might want to think, what are they doing with the helium? When it should be fuel that they should be the, the biggest purchaser of. Am I correct? I mean, really, guys, think about this shit. Anyway, so I haven't even really thought of a rebuttal for him. Uh, I haven't been able to put anything together. Maybe one day I will. For now, I like to concentrate on Flat Earth because that's what's most important about some guy who's all he does is just making, you know, picking up channels and picking up subs. And I don't think any of those subs are real anyway, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Um, and making a career out of us. And that's good, you know. I mean, we're making careers, guys. We are making careers. <laughs> so be it. Anyway, um... I did some, uh, you know, conversations with um, Son of the Moon, Family United. Had some great conversations with them, that crew over there, man. I'll tell you, what, what a bunch of great guys. Uh, went on uh, Roxanne's show a couple times, you know. And I did various videos, you know, just me talking like I am right now with you. Um, and it was overall a good month, you know. I mean, we're, 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 we're trying to put together channels here, you know. We're trying to keep people informed about information that we come across. And we want people to absorb this and understand it. I mean, I know I'm talking to the choir. You guys are all flat earthers. But, uh, you know, it's good to hear from a real guy, you know, here in New York, who's unfortunately not alone, but pretty much alone. <laughs> I don't have many people from New York contacting me at all. Uh, very few, which I'm surprised. It's been over a year and a half now, and I'm shocked. There's only a handful of people that have contacted me. But, you know, what are you going to do? You know, that's just the way it is. Uh, so, all right. Anyway, I want to get into a couple things with... Um, uh, well, the, the best way to debunk NASA, okay, first off... Um, oh, oh, and that video I made out on Sunday, I, I was pissed off because basically I wasted my time at this stupid, ridiculous party that was just so fake with fake people that Westchester County, I'll tell you, is the wealthy in Westchester County are just so self-absorbed, you, you know, and it's sickening to, to be around it. Uh, it, it really is. I mean, it's it's just so many sold-out fake people here um, in this area that, you know, you, you might as well just move. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, it, it's, it's pathetic. But anyway, I live here. I can't do anything about it. Just bought a new place. So. Oh, I want to get into that, too. I was on the terrace the other day. But let me get, let me get into what I was talking about before with NASA. All right, we've asked NASA, well, Mark Sargent's asked NASA. Um, nobody else has picked it up. But to give us proof, evidence, that this spacesuit works, okay? Because, I mean, obviously it has 100% uh, satisfaction on it. It's never leaked, never done anything, never had a problem. Um, except that one time when water got into this guy's helmet. I, I don't know anything about that. But um, in terms of being in a vacuum, it's, it's never had a problem. And it's... It works perfectly, flawlessly, all the way back to the 1960s. All we're asking is to prove to us, in a vacuum, that this works. You know? That's all you have to do. And nobody's done it. Nobody's come out. NASA hasn't come out. 
no astronauts have come out. You know, we don't have any photographs of this thing in in a, a vacuum chamber uh, working or functioning or, or doing anything that it says. All we know is it costs like $50 million to manufacture this, and we have absolutely no evidence that it even works in anything for that matter. Now, because we know there's, there's no space up there, and, you know... So anyway, uh, it's all fake. It's all bullshit. Modified scuba suit. That's all it is. Uh, until until somebody proves to me that that thing works, go in a vacuum chamber. And let me see what happens with it. I told you you're gonna you're gonna blow up like the Goodyear blimp. That that's how that's what's gonna happen. Such a joke. And people don't see this shit. They they don't see it. They don't care. They just let them take their money away and then go on about with their lives and not question anything with science. That your kids are being taught shit. And everything is complete horseshit that they're that they're learning. It's total nonsense. But we all know this. Okay, you know this, I know this. I want to get into uh, being on, you know, just sitting outside on the terrace last night. Oh, and I have to get into the moon, too. Um, sitting out on the terrace last night. We usually get this milky clouds all all day. Fake manufactured clouds. No fair weather. Remember, remember those fair weather clouds? I very rarely hear the weatherman talking about that anymore. Fair weather clouds all day long today, guys. Nope. Nope, you're gonna get you're gonna get sprayed skies all day long. That's what you need to say. Uh, anyway, so it dissipated and kind of cleared up at night, and that's what it's been doing here a lot in New York. Um, and there are a few fair weather clouds in the sky. You know, and it, you know, you you look. It could be a trickery of the of the eye. I'm not sure, but when you look at these clouds, I swear it looks like. Especially when it's calm and there's no wind at all, no 20, 30 mile per hour winds. It's a calm night. It almost looks like these clouds are like breathing in a way. They're moving, and it just—it's it, very—it's it's very. There's shit going on up there. We have no idea what the hell's going on up there. I mean, I'm, we're right next to—well, um, not next to it, but we're in the flight path of JFK and uh, LaGuardia Airport. So the the flights go over our complex and turn. So, you know, you get a good perspective of, of the airplanes and, and the clouds in front of them, the clouds behind them. It's quite interesting. Uh, whenever I can afford to get that kick-ass P-1000, I'll do videos on it, but I don't, I, that's not going to be any time soon. It could take me a while to save up for that one because I don't pay things in credit. I pay cash. 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 And so I suggest you do the same thing, too. Try to stay out of fucking debt as much as possible. Um, that moon experiment that I was talking about, uh, it's happening, actually, the new moon is going to be on October 9th, all right? I'd like you to take part in it with me. You know, I want you to look for the, uh, for the moon. I checked up the weather. I don't know how they can tell me how far, I mean, how the weather is going to be on October 9th, considering they can't even tell me on a daily basis what the hell it's going to do around here, because it changes constantly, um... But uh, it's going to be on October 9th. It's going to be fairly clear here at night. Now, I was watching videos earlier. I, I've seen the day moon out. Usually if the day moon's out, you don't really see it that well at night. It's on the horizon. But I'll keep watch and I'll let you know exactly where it's going to be. And all I want to know is where the moon should be. See if you can find a silhouette on it. I told you with my glasses on and it's a quarter of the moon or a half or whatever it may be. Uh, I, I could actually make out the ring on the side right there. I mean, you know it's all fake up there. It's self-illuminating, and it's nothing that... Oh, I wanted to get into gravity with you, too. Shit. Oh, okay. All right, I won't take... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. Okay. Um, and um, so that's happening October 9th. Now, with gravity, I just want to tell you, I, I wanted to point out to you, they have every instrument in the fucking world that you could possibly imagine. I'm talking spectrum in, um instruments, uh, light instruments and all that thing. I've never seen an instrument other than NDT sitting there with a fucking ball up on the ceiling tied there to show us what gravity does. Because they can't. There's absolutely not a single instrument, scientific instrument, that could prove gravity. I want to see what the gravitational pull of the moon is. We've got mathematics on it to tell everybody about it, right? Oh, it's so convenient that you'll never understand, but yet there's not an instrument out there that can show me the gravity that's coming from Earth or the moon 
or for that matter, the sun. Nothing. Nothing at all. You know why? Because it doesn't exist. Gravity is air density. Whatever is heavier than air falls to the ground. There you go. Sums it up. I did it in, you know, less than a half a page. The books have it in 500 pages. If you can even finally, if you can truly find the true definition of gravity, I'd love to see it. Anyway, okay. All right, you know what? I thank you for subbing, guys. And uh, thank you for viewing my videos and letting me be a part of your life.